pretty variable at the top of it, as you said. And uh, yeah, we're on Anubis. Welcome to Anubis. Good old Anubis. Uh, Anubis, not a map we see a whole lot in competition. Uh, when it does rear its head, it usually comes out in situations like these where you do have a best out of seven and you can only ban a few maps. And teams, in the end, they favored banning the strategic maps that they know they're bad at versus the maps where they don't really know too much on one way or the other in Anubis. Yeah, well, defensively here, um, you know, we'll, we'll see if this is just... Uh, how they're going to come out, I, you know, I'm not surprised by anything. I thought maybe we'd see a Bastion or a Torb or something like that because it is Anubis defense, but we're not in a pub. It is going to be Rogue first on defense. Artyr is going to be playing Reaper. Numlocked is going to be playing Roadhog, Toxican, Soldier 76, Bromos, Vera, Lynx on the Genji. Jerkaeus will be playing the Mercy, a single support composition, no true tank, mostly just Numlocked on that Roadhog. Alrighty, meanwhile Tangle here at the offense coming out from the side of Ro Rogue. They were showing a May in the beginning, which actually has been used in this map, but instead it's going to be Nox on the Lucio, Reinforce on Winston, Wins on the Zarya, Tavik on the Farah, AKM on Reaper, and Unko going to be on the Mercy. So, not going to be riding here on Tavik as always, but Tavik's Farah has been a joy to watch. See the it takes to put Rogue over the top here as both teams get into it. Fast and Fierce. Unko though goes down in a flash and Crazy Esports three quick kills. They should be able to take this fight. Yeah, they've uh, definitely got this going defensive or, uh, you know, <laughs> defense holding pretty strong here. And that's just a case where Rogue went in over the top. They were looking for a few picks. They weren't able to get it. Got out poked and things sort of snowballed up from there, but the one upside is that spawn points are pretty close, so they're going to get another attempt here in short order. Yeah, I mean, Tavik up top takes it, I mean, they're, they're just kind of barraging in now. Now it's super aggressive from the offense. Reinforce takes that top ground immediately, which is really smart. You have to get rid of the threat up there, otherwise you're going to get peppered away on, although Jacaeus is still hanging out up there. It's uh, back and forth. Both teams uh, getting two kills to start the side. AKM on the offensive Reaper got another kill deep in before going down. Rez coming out here from the side of Unko again, bring up some of the fallen, but here comes a Dragon Blade from Linkser, taking out two, taking out three. Linkser slicing and dicing like a machine. Gonna get reinforced in the end as well, so the defense of Dragon Blade saving things in the end for creation. What could have been a rough fight. Yeah, it looked good early on. I really liked what Reinforce did. I, like I said, I think you have to take this top end first. Although, unfortunately, they did lose a couple in that fight. So it is fear for the offense a little bit just because the reinforcement times are so long. Although they did get all their defense back now. Uh, that is a really brutal first kill. Unko goes down really early. That's going to slow down this next push. And defense is going to be totally set up off of that. Yep, defense is sitting up again, although you look at the offense, they definitely have some uh, power on their side. They have Wombo Combo on the table, Graviton Surge in the Barrage will certainly be a thing here in just a moment. Wins looking for his opportunity, and Tavika actually goes for the Barrage early, does not get what he's looking for. Two kills here from the creation side, two kills on their side. Arts here though, moving to backline, does have Death Blossom at the ready. Gonna back up, doesn't go for it. Graviton comes out, gonna set up two members for death, but here comes Arts here with the better Death Blossom taking out five Arts here. His Death Blossom just a little bit stronger. And what good patience on his part to wait that out. They're going to try to get Unko in first. They're trying to clutch pistol uh, people, get in and maybe get the res, but it's a little too late. They're going to have to hold back on that. Uh, they're going to try to sustain that fight. And time-wise, uh, you do have a time bank of 10 minutes here, but only if you're able to get through point A. Tavik, though, does come in immediately takes out Arts here. This is the best look at Rogue's head all game long. The sound barrier protecting them. They get three very quick kills. Rakeus is down. There's not going to be a res unless Linkser has the most hero dragon blade of all time. This should be it in favor of Rogue. Yeah, they are going to finally take this first point. Yeah, they just went down Broad Street a bunch of times. Wins just walked in pretty much alone, hit his own shield, just started causing some uh, some reactions, and then everyone was able to clean it up in the backhand. As you mentioned, taking down Drakaeus there early in that fight helped them out a great deal. They are going to switch. Links off the Genji onto the Mei. Onto the Mei. You don't get to say very often in Overwatch. Yeah, so uh, defensive A coming out. Links has done this so in the past. Uh, it's been a hero that he has liked playing. Here's to see how it works out for defense on Nubus. This is, I'm not going to say completely in charge ground, but not something you see very often. But here comes Tavik now from Dragon Blade. He wants to put this game away. Gets that back line. Two kills here for Rogue already. Tavik not going to find a whole lot else with this Dragon Blade, but AKM does go for the Death Blossom on the response. Takes out one. Sets up for another death. 
And uh, really, our tier and Lynx are the only ones really up here for the defense, and Creation might be losing this right here and right now off of that ultimate momentum from the offense. Well, here comes the stall. Here comes the Diva for the stall. Toxkin also dancing around with his rollerblades out there. Now here comes the damage. Bromos over top with the barrage gets taken out immediately. Everything going away or going in favor of Rogue right now. They got the momentum on their side. They should be able to just continue chaining deaths. Buying a miracle here on the defense. When Artier does come in with the death loss and takes out Nox, two kills now. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're pulling this back. Heroes never they die. are, but uh, Dragonblade is out for Tavik, takes out two right away. Res is even used by Unko, though, and reinforces down. He did not Primal Rage, so the defense, against all odds, might be pulling this back in full. As El Presidente comes out, getting the triple kill, beep boop. Rogue, I think, let them off the hook there. Yeah. Uh, they, they definitely did. I mean, they just were able to get more effective trades and wins still in for some reason. Now wins goes down late though, so that's going to slow down the next push. You know, honestly, I don't love, I don't hate running a Symmetra on offense here. You used to see it very early before she got nerfed uh, when teams would have to play this map. They would run as an offensive Symmetra just, just to get the teleporter up because as you can see, so. it's just such a long walk to reinforce on offense. If you're not winning these fights decisively, you're in trouble now. Um, they do not switch up a whole lot here on offense. Going to try to keep running the same composition. Really force can bomb, and he's going to have primal rage up at a certain point as well. And yeah, Rage will be up. I think Reinforce probably should have burned it in the last fight, but uh, he'll get another opportunity here. He's going to move in in just a moment. As Linkser though gets the first pick, able to take out Akam with that headshot icicle. And here comes the Blizzard on the point. This is rough. You can't go in on a Blizzard. Blizzard uh, zones out a point for quite a while. And Creation's gonna use it just to chase everyone down. They get four kills in their favor. Unko dead. And uh, they perhaps being a little bit bay, uh, they're able to pull that off and buy themselves even more time on this time bank. Now what they should do for the next push is make sure that they actually have everything up because they're so close to having every ultimate up that you can't really even defend against. It's gonna be Death Blossom, I'm gonna be a Graviton. They're like 20% away from having everything for them. I think they should wait on those, initiate with Sound Barrier and see if they can win that one fight decisively. I think it's the best way to win a Nubis last. Segments it off early as Tavik, he's gonna have to back out, he does get out. He back out, but look at our tier, our tier is perfectly set up right now for Death Blossom. Even if the offense goes in, they're going to get dropped on here in a hurry. Our tier just biding his time, looking for the right opportunity. Looks for AKM without using Death Blossom, but he might blow it here anyways. Here comes Death Blossom, waited too late though, AKM had already taken out three. Arceus going the res, everyone back up, and the 3G Express is looking here, measuring the team, has the hammer, drops it down, three people hit the dirt. Here comes Numlock, choo-choo. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh. As soon as that res came up, I looked at Numlock, I was like, this is happening, he has this, and sure enough, he had a great Earth Shatter there, and putting Creation on his back for that fight. Well, they used all their ultimates, except for Reinforce for some reason. I guess he just, uh, maybe his Q is a little broken on that keyboard. He's had Primal Rage for the last two fights, has not popped it. The rest of his team did use their ultimates, don't got nothing out of it. So now they're gonna have to go into this next fight with pretty much nothing. Although defense doesn't have a ton up either. They're gonna have Sound Barrier at the very least. Yep, offense moving in. Uh, Reinforce got to blow primal rage, primal rage probably a little bit early here. Akam and Tavik do not have a whole lot to contribute ult-wise. Uh, still, fight is engaged here, uh, a little bit bloody. Both teams down one player to begin with. Anko and Drakeus both going to have a res. And uh, May goes down, so uh, right now 4 for 4. Res comes out from Anko. Res comes out from Drakeus. Sound Baron now on the defense is our tier. Has that plus him up once again. Going to take out Wins to the aid of that ice wall. That is beautiful coming out from the side of Link, sir. Here comes Tavik, he's already built up the Dragon Blade from nothing effectively. Takes up Romos, but gets yeah. punched in the face by Linkser. And for creation, they should be able to hold this. I gotta say, this May has worked out really, really well for him. Every time they come in, the wall comes up, and if it doesn't just segment someone off and make them retreat, it slows them down at the very least. She's getting a ton of damage. The icicle sniping has been on point. He dropped the blizzard there, completely shut down Tavik as he tried to come in and then just got face punched down by the May, which you saw. Uh, yeah, this May is working out really well. And now you get out there for a little bit of poke. They try to chase you down, a little wall up, you're fine. Well, this has been really good for the side of creation right now. They're on the verge of getting a full hold on Anubis. Uh, we 
We're thinking we're going to be going in here and seeing a 7-7, seven to seven, but uh, for now, it might be a 2-1 to one if Creation has anything to say about it. So. Yeah, I mean, even if they lose it now, they've had a phenomenal first uh, first time bank round for Anubis, and they, they look like they're not going to lose it. Here comes another Blizzard. Wow, I, maybe that should charge even faster. There's been times in the fight she hasn't added up. Players are going to happen. They're going to use the res here from Munko. Nox needs to drop the sound barrier sooner rather than later. They've gotten three kills up. Back and forth here. Sound barrier comes in arguably a little bit late. But here comes Tabik moving in here with the Dragon Blade. Looking to slice the dice. Going to beat the hammer of the 3G Express himself though. Numlock knocking down two there. And most importantly stopping the Dragon Blade in its tracks. This is okay here for Creation. They bent a little bit. They're not going to break. Artyr can drop a Death Blossom if he wants, but it might not even be needed for them to turn this back because only 35 seconds remain. Yeah, you know May is getting alt charge now because um, in the next patch when she's an ice block because healing is going to give you alt charge. And look at May's alt charge now. She's got Blizzard up again. Let's keep them back. Up again. Literally. Yep, the bl Blizzard, Death Blossom, Deadeye all up here. This is not going to be easy. All they have is Death Blossom and AKM, and unless AKM just somehow threads the needle, gets in hugely, and oh my goodness, Bromos was able to take out Tavik early on, and Unko does not res. This is going to be a full hold command for creation. I don't think there's any way that rogue can actually take this back here. There's just too much against them. Here comes a Blizzard yet again. It's down there. Unko goes down. That should be it, right? Yeah, AKM comes in. He was going for the hero, uh, Death Blossom. Not going to happen in creation. Coming out with the full hold, so all they have to do is finish out the map, and they'll be one map over the side of Rogue. Little surprise. I thought that was going to go very back and forth. But you know what? We haven't seen a whole lot of Anubis. So maybe Anubis is just still that very defensible last, as it's almost always been. Um, it just, yeah, since, since it was created, first Overwatch map ever created. Um, has been fight a little bit once. They did open up the left side, which I thought would make things a little better. It has not. So it's not like the Volskaya that we've seen in Capture Point at the very least, where it just goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Anub is definitely still favored in the defense. Now all Creation has to do, finish out the map. Easier said than done, of course. We'll see if they can do it. They'll take a 1-0 lead in this best of seven. All righty. So taking a look here at the defense as they roll out here for the side of Rogue. Note that they will be on the red. Uh, we are back to normal comp mode uh, rules here, at least for this map where uh, you, you don't change sides. So Rogue going to be in the red. It's going to be Nox on the Junkrat, AKM on a Reaper, Wins on the 76, Tavik on Genji, Unko going to be on Mercy and reinforce the final piece here on the Roadhog. <laughs> Um, yeah, that was Rogue's defense. Offensively, it's going to run. Hang on, I'm going to recall you real quick. Okay. Uh, you robot. are roboting once again. Again, I don't know if it's the... I swear there's someone in your neighborhood that's just torrenting like crazy. But, one second here, we're going to get him back in. It's not even a weekend, too. It's the weirdest thing. All right, Hex, how are you? Domo Arogato? Uh, nope, you're good. You're, you're a human once more. Excellent. All right, so this offense is going to run a triple tank, it looks like. It's going to be Numlocked, Artyr, Lynxer on Reinhardt, Roadhog, Zarya, Bromas, and Drakaeus will make up the combo. Toxkin on Lucio. No, offense moving in for Creation. For Creation, they have a lot of time here. So as they're able to get first point and the first uh, few minutes, they have plenty of time to capture last. And lots of options available to them. They don't have to rush things. They can just be a little bit of side of What a good hook on the Reaper there. Pulls him right back in. Forces out the Wraith form. Almost gets the kill outright. As nice Creation now being a little bit more aggressive. Nox, though, able to turn the tides. Does get first kill on the Lucio. Links are going down as well. 2v2 here on the point. Very bloody, but a bloody fight like this does favor the offense a little bit more. The response can get in there a little bit sooner. Yeah, Uncle's got a crack here. Does get it. Shuttle missed out on the rest of Echo and Cam up from the second set. Nice to Veek on the 76, just laying in the damage, able to turn this back in the favor of Rogue after what was a little bit of a scary start. And even though respawns are coming in, it's too much. Uh, Tavik has already made enough space to defensive respawns are coming in. This is going to be a full reset here for Rogue. Or sorry, uh, for Creation. Yeah, having a hard time getting in. They are going to have some alts up to work with next, most notably Graviton and Whole Hog, which worked in combination, can absolutely decimate a team. See what their angle of approach is, though. It looks like they're going to try to hold in left while the combo just spams up over the top. 
beak right now. He's holding on to the attack by so, so he can use that at any point. It can, can go off at any point. Lots of options here for the defense as they look to get in on creation. Reinforce able to take out our tier. Bromos, he's gonna go down the AKM in here in just a moment as well. So this has not been the worst coming out from the side of Rogue, but uh, Creation now starting to turn things in their favor. They do get a few key picks, including a pick on the Tavik. A lot are now riding on AKM, but the sound bear comes up from Creation, and that's going to be it as Langster lands a big right click on the AKM to take him out. Yeah, it's just reinforcing here now. He's not going to be able to do enough. He's going to try to get some damage and maybe charge up at all. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, Tavik's back here. Just trying to go hero mode. Reinforce is still around, poking around, trying to delay this point at the very least. He does get cleaned up eventually. Um, that Yeah, that is going to be it. They're going to have a ton of time to finish out this last two. But we saw that the time is not necessarily all it's worth here on Anubis. Well, they have about eight minutes, a uh, little bit under that to go. They're going to open with the Graviton Surge here and try and put an end to this right away. Graviton does come in. They get three people in that Graviton. Seb, Numlock, Fog through with the Earth Shatter, taking out three. No and Hex, this is already done. No res. Unko also dies towards the end as well. That should be absolutely it. GGs are out. Creation dominant on Anubis. So, not a particularly super long... 2CP map, uh, Creation able to just take that on their first push, and I mean, truth be told, on uh, Nubis, that's the best chance you have of getting the second point, is going from first and then with momentum from first, taking second. Yeah, generally your your first push on the last is going to be your best one, just riding that momentum, using the alts for the other team perhaps is not set up, because they, they were trying to get a Torb out. Uh, they, they did switch some heroes, so they're not going to have ultimates up.